Welcome to Clinical Teaching Basics at the U of A College of Medicine, Tucson. This video will give you a strategy for teaching in clinical settings called BDA. BDA is an approach to teaching that can help clinical educators provide some structure for the learning experience. BDA offers a reflective framework for teaching. It's compatible with Donald Schoen's framework for reflective practice. BDA refers to what we can do before, during, and after patient encounters to assist medical students in making the most of their learning experience before we establish expectations for student participation in the encounter, during we might guide learning, after we debrief or extend the learning experience. Before an encounter, we prepare the learner by establishing expectations for their participation. To make sure expectations are reasonable, we do a knowledge check. We find out what the student knows or can do relevant to this patient. We ask the learner to tell us what they know about the illnesses or conditions we suspect, identify the criteria for diagnosis, or show us how they would perform a pertinent exam. Review the chart with the students so they have a better sense of what to look and listen for when they meet with the patient. Offer guidance before the patient visit discuss how the student plans to ask about sensitive or complex matters and help them phrase questions in an empathetic way. During the patient encounter, we can help guide the student's learning experience. We should observe the medical student in an encounter to get an informed sense of what we can reasonably expect them to do in future encounters. We can assist the medical student by modeling a procedure or clinical skill before they perform the task on their own. We could also guide them directly or provide tips as they perform the task. This preparation and observation enables us to offer strategic autonomy to medical students. Now we know which patients to entrust to their care when they're ready to present to an attending or consult with case management or nursing staff. After an encounter, we can debrief with the medical student or extend their learning experience. We can extend the learning experience by asking the medical student to present the patient, offer constructive feedback on the encounter or the presentation, and specific tips for improving performance. We can also ask the medical student to join a team discussion about the patient's care or research more about suspected conditions and report what they find to the team. You could also ask a medical student to watch how you present a patient and how they might include patients in decision making. Thank you and I hope this is helpful in your clinical teaching. Please don't hesitate to contact me and best of luck in your teaching.